Okay, guys. Can Mal fight 1v3? Can Mal fight 1v3? He can, right? He can, he can, he can 1v3, right? Freak it? He can 1v3. Oh, I'm a genius. I, I'm, I'm rich. I make 10. Actual genius. Malfi pair. I mean, okay, like, I didn't even try to position him perfectly, but I actually abused the perfect angle, no? Wait, what? I, that was intentional. Okay, two Malphites can 2v3, right? They're gonna angle them? Maybe we'll get six gold, who knows, probably not. Can you even get six gold? I get six gold if I get zero items, right? Oh, frick. Hold up, hold up, hold up, this guy's not angled. Bro, why is Malphite so broken? Why is he so broken? He's so broken. Uh, team building. It's not keepers. It's not this. I mean, I'll just take key team building and play some random reroll comp. Who cares, bro? I'll play a random reroll comp. Whatever, man. What should we play, though? Which reroll comp do we play? Freaking Malphite reroll? He deserves it, no? He deserves it, guys. He does not deserve it. I I, I don't think he can he can carry. <laughs> Guys, he cannot carry. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Gain a bunch of armor. Oh. No, he can't carry, though, guys, man. Like, he legit can't carry. How is he gonna carry? How is he gonna carry? Okay, hold up. Who else is exalted? A loon? Uh, I think we just lost streak here. Wait, I could have made 20. I could have made 20. Wait, he's also lost streak. I can low-key win this fight. I can win this fight. Yeah? We win those? Ah! We don't win those, man. Where's my Malphite brokenness now? Volley Bear reroll with new AP scaling. Volley Bear reroll, but how how does Volley Bear reroll work? Like, how do we play Volley Bear reroll? What traits do we want? What traits do we want for him? Isn't Behemoth just better? Yeah. We get more resistances on the on the Behemoths instead of Heavenly. Okay, so like I have to think about these items, right? We're on the portal with component anvils. I have to think about these two items. Oh yeah, I have to change my title and stuff, right? Oh, thank you guys. We're uh, we're back on set eleven PBE. We're not playing Deep Rock Galactic anymore. Ooh, that's really good of you, by the way, because you gave me the opportunity to segue. If this becomes a YouTube video, guys, a TFT YouTube video, I will link my other channel where I will continue to upload backpack battles again and some other roguelikes. If you want to check those out, you feel me, guys? We played some Deep Rock Galactic Survivors. And in that game, I'm a miner. I'm a miner, guys. And I have to really watch out for the Jaxus, you know? The, ja the Jaxus is very dangerous for miners, you feel me, guys? <laughs> You smell me, guys. Offers you a choice of a completed item. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's, it's very dangerous, guys. The Jax is dangerous, man. That's why I sold the Jax earlier, because I'm just too scared. Okay, is it QSS on, on Volibear? Does he have healing built in? QSS on Volibear? QSS on Volibear, no? QSS on Volibear, right? QSS on Volibear? Volley got nerfed, brother man. You're gonna go 8th. Someone said he got buff. Someone said he got bonus AP scalings. I didn't read the patch notes. I was too lazy. Can we can we ban the guy that said Volibear got buff on his AP ratios? He got nerfed, but also got AP scaling. Yeah, th that means it's a buff. Freak it. He said new AP scaling. Yeah, like, it's not that bad. W what is the new AP scaling, guys? W what scales newly with AP? What scales newly with AP?
the heal. Okay, okay, we're back. So we give him Archangel QSS. <laughs> Volley got Giga nerfed. No, but before he was played as a full tank and he was very OP as a full tank. But we're not going tank. Uh... <laughs> okay, guys, I'll keep it a stack. Please help. I need to play something. I need to play something this world. with QSS. What even works with QSS? Okay, what works with QSS? Riven. Riven. Yone, we already played so much Yone reroll. Did they buff Yone? Did they buff him? We'll play him if they buffed him. Kane. No, we have a we we need to play a reroll comp. We need to play a reroll comp. We need to play a reroll comp, guys. We have uh, army building. His spell healing and damage percentages was reduced, but not how he has AP scaling. <laughs> Interesting. Diana, Zoe, Zoe with QSS. Nice try, guys. Okay, I'll just I'll just cook something, man. I'll just cook some two cost, some random freaking two cost. Who's gonna work here? Some random freaking two cost. Okay, high key, I get I get a Yorick carry augment or something, right? High key. I'm gonna get a carry augment, no? High key. High key, guys, no? High key? Surely? I should have read the patch notes, man. Reforge QSS, bro. Bro, reforge QSS, and then I'll get a Ginsu's or something, man. Like, how is that gonna work? I mean, high key, we can just have F, no? Forget. I should have read the patch notes, but I was too lazy, man. Because I feel like it doesn't do anything. Because I don't, I don't even know what's OP, right? I'm just playing PVE, man. There's no rank. <clears throat> I mean, we're pretty rich. We we could go Riven reroll for sure. We could go Riven reroll. Riven with QSS is probably pretty good, right? It can't be bad, right? It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. Kiana, we already play Kiana so often. I'm trying to try new stuff. Like, I, I haven't uploaded Riven reroll yet. Did they buff Riven? Because Riven felt a little bit weak. High key. Also, they, they nerfed Heavenly or something, right? They buffed it? Wow. Wow, they nerfed Heavenly a lot late game, no? Or am I crazy? Am I freaking crazy, guys? I don't think I'm crazy. They nerfed it a lot, no? Riven got no touch. Wait, didn't they didn't they nerf? Like wasn't was it 200 percent Oh wait, did they buff seven? I, I think they buffed six heavenly. Riven got a super buff. Bro, five people said she didn't get buffed. How can you say Riven got a super buff and expect me not to know that you're full of garbage? Like, what are you even doing, man? Like, what are you even thinking, bro? What are you thinking, brother man? What if I go full crit Riven? Like, how bad is that? Be honest. Riven full crit. Like, how bad is it? I don't give a frick, guys. I'm g maniac mode. Full crit Riven? I do not give a singular frick. Full crit Riven. Like, how bad is it gonna be? Not that bad. It's not even bad. Like, you think it's gonna be bad? No. I have two Rivens, but I have actually four because of this. It's not that bad. Ah, 30 and 50 star level multiplier. Yeah, that's what they nerfed. Okay. I don't need little buddies. Martyr is pretty good because we go full bruiser, right, with Riven. So that's really good, actually. I mean, I just won the game, no? I, 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 I actually win the game now, no? Like, genuinely. I'm winning this, right? We win those? We win those. 
We win those, right? We win those. You forgot to bow. We win those. That is not always a release. We win those. I mean, we win those, no? And then what else? What else? This girl gets Rabadons. We go Soraka and Riven reroll. Did they nerf Soraka? They probably did, right? Did they Giga nerf Soraka? Be honest. They probably did, right? Yeah. I mean, deserved though. She's still gonna be good. Like, she was, she was so freaking stupid, right? She's still gonna be good, I'm sure. I don't think we play Heavenly. There we go, I was rolling to find 2 star Riven, and now I'm stable. Now I should be stable. I don't think we're playing Heavenly. I think we just don't have the 6 Bruisers right yet. We need uh, Rek'Sai and one of the 4 costs, so that's why. That's why we're just playing uh, Heavenly for now. This is good. I, I like this. This is good. We're, we're in an okay position. Armor piece is kinda wasted, but we can go Sunfire, it's not even that bad. Uh, we want even shroud, even shroud. So for the people who don't know what Riven does, she's a bruiser, and uh, she deals physical damage to the current target. And every three casts, she deals a bunch more, twice of it, and it also is AOE to the people adjacent to that target. And then it heals for 225 health, and she's also an altruist with Soraka, and um, so that's why I'm playing Soraka dual carry because what that's gonna do is altruist. Altruists heal the lowest health ally with their damage, 15% of their damage. Also, this was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. He just ate her. <laughs> GG, guys. He just freaking ate her. You know what's crazy? My Riven just got one-shot by the Caitlyn. Oh, Altruists got buffed. I mean, just the resistances got buffed. Yeah, just when you go deep into it. Oh, wait, four Altruists is insane now. 60 armor and 60 magic resistance. That is crazy, bro. I'm gonna grab this, um... I mean, I could grab a bruiser, though. I feel like grabbing a bruiser is insane. That's an insane buff. Yeah, yeah, but remember, there's only three altruists in the game. One of them is a legendary, and you need, um... You need a spatula, so... It's, it's definitely strong, but... Yeah. I wouldn't say it's OP, but it's good. I'm pretty sure I roll here for one more bruiser. You to bow. Let me show you. He got high roll. Nice. Um, don't I just level then? So, why did I roll? <laughs> why did I freaking roll, man? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Like, it was worth. I got two star girl. Uh, I mean, Crown Guard is not even bad on this guy. Because we don't really need another AP item on her. Okay, so we level we level to 7, right? And then we just level uh, roll on 7. We roll on 7, right? We roll on 7 for sure. That is good, this is good. And level 7, we can play 6 Bruiser and Soraka. And that should be good. Okay. We roll on 7 for the 3 star... Soraka, 3-star Riven, maybe 3-star Aatrox, um, is also a decent bruiser, honestly. He deals a decent amount of damage, and he has Magic Pen built in, so keeping him alive is not bad. He heals, deals a little bit of bonus magic damage, and he applies Magic Pen, which really isn't that bad, so. I think I'm gonna put her here, the classic melee carry positioning. I can sell this. This is good, this is good, these are all bruisers and Soraka, okay, this is good. And then of course we kick, uh, we kick uh, Rek'Sai, we kick Rek'Sai, she's kind of trash for uh, the Silas late game, and hopefully we get a bruiser emblem so we can go 8 bruiser and then we're super dang. Because last time I played Riven, I tried her with like triple titans, because I thought she's gonna heal enough with this, right? 
with the 230 health, which scales with magic, uh, with ability power. So I thought she's gonna heal li like Olaf, you know? Triple Titans, Gargantuan Titans, Olaf. I had triple Gargantuan Titans, Riven 3-star. It was bad. It was straight up bad. Seems like this damage build is doing much better. Way better. Mm -hmm. We get another dude. We're gonna level here. He's T-posing. Uh, we're gonna level here anyway. I'm gonna sell her. Alright. We play six bruiser and we try. Our is is Riven contested. Because the reason why I also did so badly in all my attempts at playing Riven, she was very contested a couple days ago. So hopefully this time she's not as contested. There is one guy playing Story Weaver though. Alright, let's sell this. Let's just level here. We still make 50, which is very nice. And then we're just good to go. Okay, and then we have Redemption, which honestly isn't bad. The thing is, this can be a tier. I think I'm just gonna go Warmogs. Like, I need Shojin on her. I need Shojin on Soraka, so she can cast more often. She's just an AP carry. And also Mana Reefs, the enemies. And each time your team loses 20% of their total health, gain 8 ability power for the rest of combat. So, um... She's gonna get a lot of ability power. They nerfed this from 10, right? I believe it was 10. It was really freaking insane, though. Like, Soraka was just OP in general. Yep, it was 10, okay. Yeah, I don't know, Soraka... Soraka and the Loon seemed like the super strong units that I always lost to. But they buffed Umbral, right? Did they nerf a loon with the Umbral buffs? Surely, right? Surely, right guys? This Riven is doing a lot of AoE damage. I like this full crit build. I think the full crit build, I thought it's gonna be a meme, but it's actually doing well. Lost item on Soraka. Uh, Shoujin plus Giant Slayer or Nasher's Tooth even. Nasher's Tooth is pretty good. We get well fed, we get healing on our guys. That's insane. 2% of their max health every second. Ah, Gifts from the Fallen is so good for Riven, though. Ah, uh, I feel like Wellfed is good, though. Well, Wellfed is good. Just keep everyone alive. Yeah, Wellfed is good. It's gonna, it's gonna make my... This guy's so tanky, right? It's gonna make the dude so tanky. The Aatrox at uh, the dude. Okay, I'm not finding anything. I need to mark the Silas, just in case I miss him. Um, it's gonna make this guy so tanky, man. He just taunts the enemies nearby. Within three hexes, which is pretty big. And then he gets a bunch of armor and magic resistance. And then, um, he, he does a bunch of magic damage as well in that area. And shields. He shields all allies as well, which is really good. Shields all the allies. Galio is so good, man. Galio is so good. Look at him. Nah, bro, he's so good. Yeah, Warmog's top tier as well, of course. We have healing. We have double percentage healing augments. We have Martyr and Well-Fed. Like, that's just so good. The Amumu just tanked so long, but look at the Riven now. She's just gonna kill everything, man. And the Riven and Soraka both deal AoE damage. This is good, man. This is good. This is great. This should be a good comp, right? Very simple comp, but should be good. Another encounter. Let's see what we get. Udir grants you two components based on the chosen spirit. We will take the magic spirit, right? Or we could go for the defense spirit. Because if I take the magic spirit, it's never gonna give me a sword, right? It's never gonna give me sword. I think we go defense spirit. Because if I get another belt, yeah, defense spirit for sure. Like, magic will not give you a sword. I could go sunfire. And I think it's good. Straight up, great upgrade, yeah. Alright, good. So far, so far, so good. We just need to get a little bit lucky on our rerolls now. Which we are clearly getting. I mean, the ribbon is kind of weird that she's not showing up. Okay, this is why you don't roll to zero. Or to 50. You roll to 52, because, you know, if you roll one more time, if you find something, you have to buy it. I guess I didn't roll to 52. I rolled to... I rolled to... I rolled to 52 with the units that I can sell. I rolled to 52 with the units I can sell, yeah. But I got two units that I can buy, so now we can make... I mean, honestly, we probably just sell the Aatrox. I don't think I'll have enough money to buy Aatrox. Only if we win, of course. He has a Lissandra. 
I mean, yeah, he's level 8. Okay, I, I get it, but still. He takes the Arcanist emblem and he gets a Lissandra. Come on, man. Uh, that, that, that's kind of crazy. I don't want to sell Kubuku because Kubuku will stack up permanent health, right? Kubuku is great, guys. Kubuku stacks up permanent health. Even though he's a 1 cost, he can get very tanky late game. Okay, I, I probably just go for, unless there's a Riven or something. No Soraka, no Riven. No nothing interesting. No Silas, no Galio. There's this guy, but that's fine. I'll just go for my item. Hopefully we can get it. Very good, we get it. Why did he go that way and then still take... I'm so angry. Holy frick, I'm so angry, guys. He went the other way, so I was like, okay, he doesn't want the sword. And then he still gets it. Adaptive Helm. True, I could have gone Adaptive Helm. I could have gone Adaptive Helm. I decided to go for the Aatrox and try to 3-star him as well. That's why you don't roll to zero, man. Like a freaking idiot. Okay, I, I mean, we can roll a little bit more. I mean, Kobuko is better. No prison can hold so I'll rather play this. This is good. I'm keeping this guy next to the Galio so he doesn't die, so he provides us magic penetration. Yep, and then... Uh, I think I would rather go for 3-star Tom Kench, because this unit is much better than the Aatrox, so let's sell him. 3-star uh, Tom Kench is a beast. It's really strong. Very, very strong. This guy is really tanky, unfortunately. Really tanky. Okay, please go into the backline. Ah, she got one shot by Caitlyn again, man. Nah, can we still win? I think Tom Kench can clean... Yeah, yeah, Tom Kench cleans this. He wins that. Easy. He does a lot of damage. He eats the enemies, and if they have less health than him, he does a bunch of magic damage when he eats them. A bunch of bonus magic damage. It's really good. It's really, really good. Another encounter. Trisana grants a gift of gold. Very good for me. I can hit my three stars very fast. Very, very good for me. That's a big gift of gold as well. It's a lot of gold. How much is it? Does anyone know by heart? Is it always different or no? 2.8k Silas. True, they buffed Silas, bro. They buffed Silas. But I mean, he didn't get focused, right? So it's a little bit unfair. But still. How much gold did I get? I only got like 10, I think. Give Silas some items. I will eventually. Like, he's the next guy to itemize, right? He's the next guy to itemize. Don't worry. Of the past. Okay, I'm not gonna roll to 50 now. Uh, we have a 3-star... We have... We could 3-star one of them already, but I'm gonna... I have 49 health. I'm still healthy. I'm still healthy. I will, after this, roll it down, though, and try to 3-star everything. Like, I'm, I'm very close to... Um, I'm very close to this guy as well, because if I 3-star Soraka, and then I 3-star Riven, and I find, like, two more Tom Kenshis, I have a 3-star Tom Kench with the, with the duplicators. So it's very worth to save the duplicators, I think. If we have this much health. If I had less health, I would instantly use them on Riven. 34 is still healthy compared to the rest of the lobby. We just roll down to zero now after neutrals. And we get a big spike. And there we go. We might get the three-star Tom Kench as well. This is good. This is looking pretty good. If, if this comp is good, I'm gonna be fine. If this girl is strong enough, I'm gonna get a top three. If she's bad, she's bad, you know? Like, there's not much I can do. If she's bad, she's bad, you know? Last time, she looked kind of bad. Hopefully, she's not. Also, yeah, they giga, they giga buffed him. Uh, but I don't know what to give him, right? He, he wants, like, Ionic Spark and stuff. He's a melee magic damage dealer. Oh, this is very awkward, man. Okay, I mean, I need to reroll the armor. Nice, that's huge. And then I just go Warmogs. I could just go Nasher's Tooth. I think I'll just go three item on her. Perfect items. Okay, there's one. Okay, just chill, just chill. Just chill. Okay. Yep. We just find one of each, and we have all the three stars. And we're good to go, guys. And low-key, I should then sell the Galio and put the item on the Tom Kench 3. 
Okay, I mean, I, I feel like this is pretty much best in slot on this girl. Like, this is a very strong build. Because remember, the, after, the more often she casts, the more often the enemies get mana reefed. So they can't ult. And if they can't ult, we win the fight. But if you go Giant Slayer or something, that's also fine. Gunblade is probably overkill. She's already Altruist. It's probably, it's probably not needed. Why you roll if you can just 3-star both? I can't 3-star both yet, though. Like, I, I, I need still... You know, I still need one more. One more Tom Kench. Okay, now I can 3-star both. That's very good, and Crown Guard is probably one of his best items as well. This is looking nasty, guys. He gets a percentage health shield as well. This is looking very nasty right about now, guys. This is a huge spike. We can go level 8 after this as well. And we can get some uh, utility unit. What do we get? Do we get Heavenly? Do we get Heavenly? Or do we get... Um, do we get uh, Story Weaver? Yeah, no Riven Thumbnail. I'm so sad, bro. And you wanted to have F. I mean, the thing is, this is a Hail Mary. If this build works, I'm surprised. Because I never... Like, I... Like, reading her skill, you would think, like, Titans would be good. Because she has attack damage and AP scaling. I wouldn't expect her to be good with a full crit build. I was like, frick it, I'll try, right? But, I mean, she's doing pretty well. But you can see, right? She is not the star. It's Soraka. But Riven is doing well. Riven is doing well for sure. Uh, if we get a Bruiser Emblem late game, it's gonna be insane. What else am I looking to play? Does anyone have a good idea for the best unit? Because I could low-key, like very high-key, I could play, um... I could play, um... Heavenly Malphite. Because Malphite would give me... A bunch of resistances. I could also play Nico to get health. But there's a 3-star Nico. There's a 3-star Nico in the lobby, so I might not find Nico. Rakan. What is Rakan gonna do? Oh, you want more altruist? Yeah, true. 25, 25 uh, more resistances is gonna be the best, yeah. That's true, yeah. 25 resistances. Remember, I, I never think of this Rakan guy. Because I always think 3 altruist is not enough of an upgrade, but I guess they buffed it, right? <laughs> he just... He just eats the freaking Tristana, man. Okay, this was Riven. This was Riven doing well. Nice. Yeah, if I can get a Rakan, I'll go for it. If I can get Rakan, that's great. This would be great if I get Rakan and get this. I get Dragon Lord as well, which would give my entire team attack speed. I could also get Umbral, but Umbral is a little bit weird to position. But honestly, it's fine. It gives my guy executes. Like, the other items are just trash. I could also go blue buff on Silas. I feel like it's blue buff on Silas, bro. And I get, I get Irelia, which is a good unit to play because it gives me... I, I don't need to... Yeah, yeah, look, okay, so... So the reason we do this is we can just level now and we don't need to do anything because we now just get this, this girl, which can give us AP... AP on our Soraka in the backline with this, right? And now we don't have to level. Uh, we don't have to roll now because we already have a unit that we can play, which is good enough. And we get blue buff on him because he has 30 mana. Well, 40 mana, but with blue buff, very low mana, and he's gonna pop off. And blue buff Silas should be good, right? <coughs> not too bad. And then we just play her. She's, you know, at least it's a legendary. She's not gonna do much without items, one star, without duelist, no nothing. But at least she gives us the Kale that gives our Soraka AP good enough. Good enough for sure. I'm not gonna sell this, even if I could make 50. Of course, we need this 2-star. I mean, we're tearing them apart, bro. We're doing really well. But, I, okay. So, I think the main ingredient why I'm so strong is this guy is so unkillable. So, the Riven can't die. Because usually when I play Riven, she's so squishy. Even with Bloodthirster double Gargantuan Titans. She was still just dying so fast. But this guy just tanks. He or she can't get targeted if he's here. Yeah, it, like, like, just look at him, man. Just look, look at this, guys. Like, what the frick is this, man? He gets a 1.3k shield and then deals 840 magic damage, but only if they have more health than him. They probably have less health. 
right? And then he's gonna deal 1.3k damage. Like, this guy is just insane. And then we're looking to play... Like, what do we play on level 9, right? That's the question. Because we're not really looking to play... Duelist. We're not look looking to play Irelia. Like, the, the, the 20 AP or whatever this gives... 20 ability power, that's just not... Not significant enough to play Irelia, I think. We definitely want to play Altruist. Three Altruist, right? Want to play Rakan at level 9? But then we have another slot, right? We have another open slot. So what do we play there? We play Rakan. We play Rakan. We could play Dragon Lord for attack speed on the whole team. But who's the best Dragon Lord? Who's the best Dragon Lord, guys? Uh, where's Rakan? <sighs> it's just Lee Sin. Do we have Sage or anything? Do we have Invoker or anything? Probably not, right? There's a Nico. I can just play Nico real quick as well. I can just go fast 10. Like a freaking Babus. I can go fast 10 as well. What's a good item for the guy? Ionic Spark, right? Ionic Spark for sure. Now we can put him next to him. Now we don't care about his uh, damage reduction anymore. Or magic resistance pen. I'll just keep this. That's really good. We'll level up next turn. If we if we win this, the game is just over, right? Basically. This guy might lose against this guy. Although he probably doesn't lose to Ghost. I'm not sure if I'm beating this guy. Oh, I'm fighting Ghost. They're fighting each other. Okay. One of them dies, and then I'm against the last player. One of them is gonna die for sure. The ribbon is so good as well. I mean, is the crit build the best ribbon build? Probably not. I would say her best build is probably Titans, Bloodthirster, maybe Giant Slayer. Okay, game's almost over. We just roll for a Rakan real quick. This guy is also good. I could play Duelist, but that doesn't do much, right? We didn't find the Rakan, but it's okay. It might just be this build. Again, the Irelia is definitely replaceable, 100%. But I think we just win, man. I think that Tom Kenj is the Giga Chad, right? It's so tanky. But honestly, I am not sure if I can conclude yet whether Ribbon is strong. Because look at my augments, man. My augments were absolutely illegal this game, no? I got both percentage health healing augments when I'm playing bruisers. Like, how, how do you even lose? How do you even lose? You can't. You can't. And even though we have these percentage health healing augments, the freaking idiot Riven was still getting close to dying oftentimes, right? We'll take it, guys. Subscribe to the bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time.